this is a story that we can celebrate. <laughs> Listen, I said on Twitter yesterday, I do my best to be, uh, I, I honestly try to be the bigger person, figuratively and literally. Um, I try my best to um, take the high road and have empathy. And what I mean by that more specifically is I do my best not to revel in someone else's misery. That's not my style. It's just not the kind of person I am. However, I will make an exception for the Santa Claus is white kids. Don't worry about it, Megyn Kelly. Jesus is white kids. Don't worry about it, Megyn Kelly. I will make an exception for the racist who got away from Fox News and thought she was going to have a chance to repackage herself and become NBC's newest Katie, Katie Couric. The problem is is that she could not get away from all her old devices. And in an attempt to boost her ratings, because her ratings were horrible. Her ratings, even with Vladimir Putin, still she came in third place behind, a, behind 60 Minutes, um, behind, uh, there's another show, oh, um, a game show, um, America's Funniest Home Videos. She came behind, and then, okay, last week was even worse because she didn't have a headliner, so she started all of this promotion about Alex Jones. Alex Jones being a media whore that he is, um, able to draw large crowds. I mean, this is what Alex Jones does. He, he plays on the emotions of people. He has this huge audience that just loves the conspiratorial drivel that, that comes out, out of his mouth and across his website. Of course, Alex Jones is going to be a controversial interview, and if she got him on there, her ratings will skyrocket. Right? Wrong. Even, even with Alex Jones, Megyn Kelly, even after all of the controversy, after all the publicity, after everything, Megyn Kelly still came in third place after a repeat of 60 Minutes and not a live show of America's home, Funniest Home Videos, a repeat of America's Funniest Home Videos. If you've seen America's Funniest Home Videos, the repeat is never as funny as the first time you've seen it. It's like going to YouTube. You're not gonna watch the same damn video twice unless it's just that funny. They don't get the funniest stuff on America's Funniest Home Videos. So for her to lose to a repeat of America's Funniest Home Videos, oh my, there must be a God somewhere. <laughs> there must, I mean, either that or karma is truly a bitch. Oh my God, this is, this is so amazing. She took the most disgusting person on the planet and tried to use him for ratings. And not only did it embarrass NBC, it destroyed whatever credibility she had left. And even after all of that, she came in third after a repeat of 60 Minutes. Now, I mean, technically, I think 60 Minutes might be the most boring thing to watch two weeks in a row. <laughs> Even worse than America's Funniest Home Videos two weeks in a row, but she did worse than both of them, and all it cost her, ladies and gentlemen, was whatever reputation and integrity and journalistic integrity she had left. <laughs> dignity. <laughs> it cost her her dignity. I think, my friends, that this is probably better than her staying at Fox News. I think this experience, bringing her over, giving her like six months off, trying to rehabilitate her image and her persona and say she's going to be, you know what it is? It's that this is who she truly is. It wasn't, and I don't know who, who at NBC thought that she's this, this burgeoning flower over at Fox News, and she can't blossom and be the golden standard of journalism, according to thehill.com, because she's at Fox News. And if she just gets away and comes to an environment where we can cultivate that burgeoning, blossoming flower, she can become something great. And instead, she has become the laughing stock of oh, shit, even YouTube. Like, there's, there's some pathetic stuff here on YouTube. And none of us today are as embarrassed as Megyn Kelly is. Congratulations, Megyn Kelly. You played yourself.